Hello, today it's time for more Evil Rage defense replays. And this month I will not use a cave line. Instead, I will use another team before switching back to the cave line. This is a team I have used only once and I want to test it a bit more. It uses two range cavalry as front line two high damage dealers and one restore trap and one dancer i will put a link in the description but quickly how it works is veronica will use restore plus on lean of course with quick and pulse and wind fire bomb plus which means turn one everyone gets attack speed plus six lean of course is free of debuffs. As for Mia, she gets the support Harsh Command Plus, if threatened. Well, I use Heldigan. Heldigan here because he has high defense and it's a good check against Mila. Eventually I will get Fortress Defense Seal and I will change the special. I think Escutcheon is the best for dancers, melee dancers, because it makes them survive. You, you don't know, sometimes they want to attack because the, the tank has been panicked or you get the buffs from Windfire Bomb Plus. You want to make sure that if the dancer decides to attack instead of dancing because it deals at least five, de five points of damage you want to make sure he survives the follow-up this fight is interesting I don't think it's an optimal build for Fallen Leon, but what it shows you Triangle Adept Raven Tome is not a definite answer to a cav line, for example. As you will see, Lin can survive Fallen Leon. Well, it is true that Fallen Leon got minus free attack because of panic but otherwise I would use infantry skull and the outcome will be pretty much the same as you can see where Veronica stands right now is predictable it's kind of a, of a weakness of my map and my setup currently because if you use Mila and say you have no structures on the 5th column, 5th lane so instead of a ladder you have nothing, let's say instead of Rayson it's Mila you use Mila to block the restore and Turn 1, you move Mila right here. So you know Veronica stands here next turn. So by using this movement, you make sure that Veronica turn 1 and turn 2 cannot use Restore Plus. However, I'm not bothered with such details because if you block my healer, I have one dancer. And because Lin and Mia are really difficult to kill, and they can get easily into Rings of Mercy range, not isolating a dancer may cause you um, 
may be a, a cause of troubles. And if you isolate the dancer, well, I don't mind because everyone gets plus 6 attack speed and no debuffs because of the restore on Lin and harsh command plus on Mia. So I, I don't mind. You can isolate the dancer or the healer. It's not really a problem for me. Oh wait, that's the same. Yeah, that's the same. Yes, I want to say something. If you isolate uh, Veronica with Mila, what you do is that you're putting Mila in a corner. So that means she has nowhere to hide next turn. If my units, my calves, move downward, and this make me this could be a problem because Mila is good for isolating but she's not good for supporting the allies in the sense that you can make a good cleanup and help sniping my units. And she's not good at this. Um, this fight is kind of a big mess, uh, you will see in a moment. This is why you want a Skutchen on a dancer. You never know. If Mila can eventually isolate Erdogan, Erdogan has no choice but to initiate an attack. If he gets Wings of Mercy and Mia has low HP because he cannot dance so he has to attack. This is also why, in general, I like melee dancers a lot more than ranged dancers. Because it's more difficult to bait, you can use a Escutcheon to help them survive, and because it's a melee unit, we have more HP. Having more HP is nice for avoiding something like panic, manor, or avoiding, um, I don't know, something like uh, Bridophium, if they use Bridophium, or any skills uh, related to 
are based on HP. So before that, you have seen that Mia survived Dimitri, and it's not the first time she survived Dimitri, but this fight he, she dies. She dies to Dimitri because he has sturdy stance too. It's not a good build, but it is what it is, and drive attack. So the combination of drive attack, flower of joy, and sturdy stance makes it possible for Mia to die. And just to make sure you understand what's happening, I had 45 deaths on Eldigan just to make sure Mia and Lin got plus 4 defense before initiating the attack. Because I think in general for ARD, speed and death are the two most important skills to have. It definitely helps a lot. Recently I pulled a plus speed Summer Mia and I have not merged into plus speed because I want to test a bit more Summer Mia with plus defense boon. And this situation, for example, against Dimitri, who killed Mia, makes me think maybe the best IV for Mia is plus defense. Because she has no impact, which means she will take two hits. Defense is a lot more important than speed. And most of the time, she won't she won't get doubled even fast sword units won't make an easy follow up against Mia she's really really fast even without speed boon Last one. I think uh, next time in Dark Season I will use the same team but with another map. I think the Lava map has some very nice feature I can use. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.